Hello, we're going to look at two particular resistors for this, videos, for this video, and they are thermistors and LDRs. And what we're going to do is look at how their resistance changes depending on the condition. So here we've got a thermistor. On the left there is a photo of what one might look like. We've got a circuit set up, and in that circuit we've got a cell. We've got a voltmeter measuring a potential difference across, across our thermistor there, which is in the water. So there's our thermistor, that's the symbol for thermistor, and that thermistor is in some water. We've got a thermometer in the water, and we would call that a water bath. So that water, we should be able to vary the temperature, so there might also be a heater of some sort in there as well. And that thermometer will measure the temperature. We're also measuring the current in that circuit as well. What we can do is vary the temperature of the water bath, and then we can measure the resistance that is given by the thermistor. Now there's nothing in there measuring the resistance directly in that circuit, so we have to use an equation that we've come across before, and that is R equals V over I. That is resistance is potential difference divided by current. We're measuring the potential difference there, as you can see in the voltmeter, and we're measuring the current. So what we would need to do is to take readings for different temperatures. So we might have a range of temperatures, say 25 upwards, going up in fives, that's just as an example, in degrees centigrade, and then we could measure the potential difference for each of those temperatures measured by the voltmeter. We could measure the current shown on the ammeter. And then we could use our equation, R is V over I, potential difference over current, to work out the resistance. I'm just writing R there because I haven't got space. And remember, resistance is measured in ohms. So one example could be that we have a potential difference of 3 volts. We might have a current of 0 0.5 amps. So I'm just using these as an example and that would give us a resistance of 6 ohms if we use the equation. Okay, now if we got a bunch of data and drew a graph of our results, we would see that as we, ra as we raise the temperature, the resistance decreases. So at the front end of the graph, on the left-hand side, we have a low temperature. That means we will have a high resistance, and that will give us a low current. At the other, other end of the graph, on the right-hand side, we'd have the opposite. We'd have a high temperature, low resistance, therefore a high current. Okay, so this is the graph for a thermistor versus the, t the resistance of a thermistor versus the temperature. What we're going to look at next is a light dependent resistor. We can call that an LDR. And with an LDR, that's what one looks like in real life. It's kind of a picture of one. And this is the symbol for our LDR. If we were to look at the graph for that, it's very similar in shape. In fact, it's almost the same in shape. But in instead of uh, temperature at the bottom we have light intensity. So on the left hand side we have low light intensity or in other words possibly darkness that will give us a high resistance and a low current and at the other end we'd have the opposite high light intensity, low resistance, high current. Okay so this is how the resistance varies for light intensity for an LDR and in the previous graph it was how resistance varied for different temperatures for our thermistor.